Namaste, mathematician. Are you ready to have fun with math? I'm your teacher, Michael. And let's make learning more fun and exciting. Before we start our lesson, here are some reminders that keep in mind. Number one, stay alert and focus. Number two, prepare your pen and paper for your answer sheets. And number three, sit back and relax as you enjoy our lesson for today. Let us begin! Do you still remember our past lesson? Yes, that's right. It is all about exponential notation. Do you still remember what is an exponential notation is? Very good! Exponential notation is composed of base and exponent, wherein the base is the number that is being multiplied by itself based on the number of exponent. Okay, let's have an example. 2 raised to the third power. So, how many times we're going to multiply the base? Yes, 3 times. Okay, let's multiply the base 3 times. 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. And what will be our product? That's right, 8. Let's have another example. 4 raised to the third power. How many times we're going to multiply the base? Very good! 3 times. Okay, let's multiply the base. 4 times 4 times 4. The answer is... Very good! 64! Now, let's have our first activity entitled, What is your idea? Are you ready? Okay, let us all read the direction. Give a positive and negative idea about the following pictures. Okay, let's have number one. Take a look on the picture. What is your positive idea? If your answer is income, you're right. How about negative idea? If your answer is debt, awesome. Okay, let's have the second picture. What is your positive idea? If your idea is win, you're right. How about your negative idea about the picture? If your answer is loss, Awesome! Okay, let's have the third picture. What is your positive idea? If your answer is love, you're right. How about your negative idea about the picture? If your idea is hate or angry, you're right. Do you want to play a game? Okay, let's play a game. The title of our game is Forfeit. One word. Are you ready? Before that, let us read first the direction of our game. Guess the word based on the given picture and tell the opposite of that word. Okay, let's have the first one. What word can we form on the set of pictures? Very good. Below. Can you give the opposite of the word below? Very good. Above. Now, let's have the second one. What word can we form based on the set of pictures? Very good! The word that we can form is the word right. Now, what is the opposite of the word right? Awesome! Left. Hey, let's have the third set of pictures. What word can we form? Very good! Forward. What is the opposite of the word forward? Nice! Backward. Okay, let's have the fourth one. Based on this set of pictures, what word can we form? That's right! The word Negative. A. What is the opposite of the word negative? Very good. 
capacity. Let's have the last set of pictures. What word can we form? That's right! The word win. What is the opposite of the word win? Very good! Loss. On the activities that you have done, what do you think is our lesson for today? Hmm. Very good! Our lesson for today is about describing set of integers and identifying real-life situations that make use of it. Okay, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to define integers, describe integers on the number line, and identify real-life situations that make use of it. Okay, let's define integers. What do you think is the definition of integers based on the activities that you have done? Very good! When we say integers, integers are composed of positive numbers, negative numbers, including zero. And take note, integers cannot be a fraction or decimal. Okay! Let's have the illustration of a number line. What did you observe? Yes, it composed of positive integers, negative integers, and zero. What do you think is the sign of zero? Yes, you're right. Zero is neither negative or positive. Can you see opposite integers on the number line? Right, we have positive 1 and negative 1, positive 2 and negative 2, positive 3 and negative 3, positive 4 and negative 4, and positive 5 and negative 5. Hmm, what do you think is the sum of opposite numbers? Very good! The answer is is always zero. According to additive inverse property, if we add opposite numbers, the sum is always zero. Integers are also used in describing and identifying word problems. There are words that are used to name a positive integers or a negative integers to present a situation. Here are some of the words that is associated to positive integers. And here are the words that is associated to negative integers. Let's have an example. Name a positive or negative integer that present on situations. Number 1. A plane climbing to an altitude of 10,000 feet. On this example, let us first identify the clue words. Hmm, what is the clue words on the problem? Very good! The clue word is the word climbing. What do you think is the word climbing associated to? Is it positive or negative integer? Very good! Positive integer! Okay, let's go back to our problem. What is the given number? Very good! 10,000 feet. Now, what is the sign of the given number? Very good! Positive! Take note, climbing or rising represent a positive integers. Did you understand? Okay, let's have another example. What do you think is the clue word? Very good! The clue word is the word drop. What is the given number? Very good! The given number is 3 degrees Celsius. So what do you think is the word drop associated to? Very good! It is associated to negative integers. What will be the sign of the given number? Awesome! 
negative. Have another example. A gain of 5 kilograms. What do you think is the clue word on the problem? Right. The word gain. And what is the given number? Very good. 5 kilograms. What will be the sign of the given number? Great. Positive. Great job. Okay, this time we will have a group activity. Before doing the activity, what are the things to remember? Number one, have respect for each other. Respect each other side. Number two, be open to compromise. Be willing to cooperate with others on their ideas. Number three, time management. Be flexible about meeting times. And lastly, be happy in the group you are in. Here is the rubrics of your group activity in giving points. We have practice skills, time management, cooperation and teamwork, neatness and orderliness. For one point, members do not identify targeted process skills. Members do not finish on time with incomplete data. Members do not know their tasks and have no defined responsibilities. And messy workplace during and after activity. For three points, members occasionally identify targeted process skills. Members finish on time with incomplete data. Members have defined responsibilities most of the time and clean and orderly workplace with occasional mess during and after the activity. And for 5 points, members always identify targeted process skills, members finish ahead of time with complete data, members are on task and have defined responsibilities at all time, and lastly, clean and orderly workplace at all times during and after the activity. Are you ready? Okay, you may now start doing your group activity. Group 1, name a positive or negative integers to present the situation. Group 2, underline the clue words that describe a positive or negative integers on each situation. Hey, let's check your work. Let's have the group 1. For number 1, positive 1,000. For number 2, negative 22,000. 300 for number 3 negative 6 for number 4 positive 3 and for number 5 negative 2 great job okay let's have the group 2 for number 1 climb for number 2 amortization for number 3 below for number 4 gain and for number 5, loss. Very good! Now, let us now move on to your individual activity. Are you ready? Here is the direction of your individual activity. Name a positive or negative number to present its situation. Okay, let's check your answers. Number 1, positive 6. Number 2, negative 10. Number 3, negative 6. Number 4, positive 25. And number 5, positive 6. Great job! Okay, let's give yourself a yahoo clap because you have done a great job in your individual activity. This is how you do the yahoo clap. Yahoo, Yahoo, one, two, three. Yahoo, Yahoo, one, two, three. Now 
Okay, let's do it together. Yahoo, Yahoo, one, two, three. Yahoo, Yahoo, one, two, three. Yay! Do you have any question? What is integers again? Absolutely. When you say integers, it is composed of positive numbers, negative numbers, and including zero. We take note, integers cannot be a fraction or a decimal. Did you understand? What is the importance of integers in real life situations? Absolutely! The importance of integers in real life situations is that we always use integers just like when we are working the needs calculations. When we are buying things and goods, we use integers and many more. Did you understand? Great job! To check whether you understand our lesson for the day, let's have a short quiz. But before that, let us read and understand the directions. Identify the following expressions. Write integers if the given expression is an integers and write not integers if the given expression is not an integers. Are you ready? Here are the problems. Are you done class? Okay, let's check your answers. Remember class, in checking your own paper, be honest always because honesty is the best policy. Okay, let's check your answers. Number one, integers. Number two, not integers. Number three, integers. Number four, not integers. And number five, integers. Great job! For your assignment, Bring out your notebook and copy the following problems. I'm Teacher Michael, your mathematics teacher. Till next time!